Hey, Jeff Cohn here with another episode of the Team Building Podcast, where we interview top team leaders, broker owners, and thought leaders from across the country. Very excited today to have a thought leader in our midst, recording here at the studio with me, Mr. Kyle Bach, hailing from a neighboring city to Omaha, two and a half hours away, Kansas City. Go Chiefs. Go Chiefs. What's up, Kyle? It's an exciting week. They're playing. Uh, As of this episode, I'm, I think the game's over. Who won? Uh, yeah. Oh, What man. was the score? The Chiefs won. The score was... Uh, 27 to 14. Okay. That's what, that's what I'm saying. There it is. 27, it 14 is. chiefs. You heard it here first. Okay. I'm excited. I'm probably going to be way off. But <laughs> what if you're dead on? Uh, what do I, I owe you? Get, uh, steak dinner, obviously. Well done. Check yeah. the box. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, we're excited. Kyle today, uh, we're making some pretty big announcements. Um, we're also going to be talking about Kyle's new role. He just recently accepted a position as a COO, CTO. We could make some fractional jokes in there somewhere. Um, Kyle has a lot of experience um, in working with data to send postcards, mailing pieces, um, using technology to create efficiencies in a business. We talked about fractional roles where you can work as a CFO, CEO, CTO, instead of going out and having a full-time position. Kyle's kind of a jack of all trades. He's lived international. He speaks several languages. You're great at puzzles. That's right. That's right. <laughs> really excited to have you here today with me, Kyle. Glad to be here, man. Absolutely. So... Uh, the quick announcement and really exciting news that Elite Real Estate Systems has to share with our audience is that we are ready to launch our beta of a new platform that we have created that powers real estate teams and brokerages across the country. It'll also be powering mortgage companies, title companies, insurance companies, investment groups, property management companies, and the list goes on. The idea is that by being part of our subscription service, you'll gain access to shared services, including not limited to contract to close services, HR, legal, marketing, and you'll also have the ability to invest in ancillary businesses through joint ventures, including but not limited to mortgage companies, title company, insurance company, investment portfolio, property management company, and the list goes on and on. And we're going to be offering this to the entire country. The platform is called Powered by ERS. And so Kyle's going to be playing an integral part and be serving as a board member, advisor, and a C-level employee. It's exciting. You, this has been a long time in the works. <laughs> it's 15 years, my entire Ever, ever since you career. drove down to Kansas City and met with me in a, in a conference room and... It was three years ago. It I was. Believe. So our our story, you know, I, I got my real estate license, as my podcast audience knows this probably. In 2006, sold for five years, launched our team in 11, grew it to be the largest team in the world at Berkshire. In 2019, we exited, launched our real estate franchise in Nebraska, KW Elite. Grew that for the last three years, went from 40 agents with my partnership with Renee and Columbus to over 120 agents just three years later. And we've launched our coaching company, Elite Real Estate Systems, back in 2017, our podcast in 2015, our mortgage and insurance companies, Exarbon Mortgage, Exarbon Insurance, which both carry national trademarks in 2020, and our investment company, Dynamic Properties, in 2016. One of the things we've seen through all of this is that real estate teams and brokerages continue to struggle being profitable. And there's several things against them. One is rising interest rates. Two is a myriad of options when it comes to real estate brokerages offering flat fee model. And there's probably a three through 10 of just a lot of other challenges that we're seeing in the market today, um, lowering commission rates, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so teams and brokerages are continually looking for new verticals and verticals that are parallel to the real estate transaction. And I think one of the main reasons we are together, Kyle, is you've become a master at selling to data and being able to compile databases and being able to sell something that's not relying upon a point of sale. And so often anyone listening to this, January 1st rolls around if you're in a sales business, Q1 baby, and you're like, hey, got to start over. I got to hit 100 sales this year so I can keep my BMW and I can keep my gym membership and I can keep looking like I'm successful to just start over the next year and then start over the next year. And we've been very, um, we've talked, we've communicated a lot with our audience about the importance of creating residual revenue. And a lot of people say, yeah, yeah, I need to invest in real estate. And yeah, yeah, I need to start my mortgage company, my title company, my insurance company, but people aren't doing it. Right. And so we said, you know what? People listen to the Team Building Podcast. I believe it's the number one listen to Team Building Podcast on your listening app. If you search Team Building, we come up first. Uh, we had 160,000 downloads last year just on our 2022 episodes alone. 
a total of 6 million listens. And we have over a thousand coaching clients in, inside of ERS, over a hundred teams and people don't do it. Yeah. It's one of those things you can lead a horse to water. It's hard to drink that water. Yeah, It's hard to build these businesses. And so we said, you know what? Let's just do this for our listeners. Let's make this a value add. People can pay a monthly subscription fee to be part of our world, gain access to the shared services, and then take advantage of the joint venture opportunities in their state when they roll out into that state. So this is a soft launch. The rest of the episode, we'll be talking about yeah. tech and communicating to databases, but stay tuned. Probably fourth quarter of 2023, we will open it up to the public. Right now, it's only being offered to current elite real estate systems clients in our beta launch in 2023. So stay tuned for Powered by ERS. What are you most excited about, Kyle, when it comes to communicating to databases and maximizing profitability with data? Well, I think so often, I mean, you look at a data set and it's easy to just think of one vertical or one sale point or one opportunity and realizing that that, that contact, that person, that opportunity extends so much further than just one point, right? It's a, it's not one time a person coming into a restaurant, it's the lifetime of that client, right? And what's the value of that client over that lifetime? And, you know, if for a restaurant, it might be them coming back as a repeat customer, but for, uh, for us, as we're thinking about data and in, in the real estate industry and, and other, you know, ancillary businesses, really thinking through, you know, how many other verticals and other opportunities come um, more, than just that one point of sale. And so, you know, so we even touched base, you know, a couple months ago, and that was around the idea of, you know, having a marketing center, you know, as one of those ancillary businesses, right? Mm -hmm. And and so, you know, I think that that opportunity of realizing that, you know, there's there's a lot more opportunity with that data than, than most people are taking advantage of. A hundred percent. And, you know, it's funny, Kyle and I ideate a lot around these data points. And I think about companies like a Google, Facebook, yeah. um, there's the documentaries, the social network. Oh, yeah. It was a social, social dilemma. Social dilemma. Yeah. Social yep. dilemma. Yep. Um, I also think about books like Freakonomics and think like a freak where they talk about the value of a client. I think Starbucks is referenced yep. in that book about, I think the client's worth 30 grand, 36 yep. grand or something. And that's the life of that client. And in real estate, people that are just connected to point of sale, of course, you're going to make your $8,000 commission at one sale. And then 11 years later, you might make another 8,000 if they choose to work with you. Of course, the hope is to get referrals from them, but what else can we offer? And so we think the same. We have our whole podcast audience. We have a lot of influence through speaking engagements and workshops and a lot of other events that you and I both participate in. Yeah. And so we are working on building out a store today. It's going to be the elite real estate systems marketplace for mortgage companies, title companies, insurance companies, and real estate companies to be able to purchase all of the things that you need to help market yourself and stay relevant and top of mind. But I love talking about data. And as we go into the 2023, 2024, 2025, we're going to see technology take off. Everyone's talking oh, yeah. chatbots right now. Oh, yeah. Which I'm going to actually open up a chatbot today for anyone that hasn't heard about chat GPT. Kyle knows a lot on the topic, enough to be dangerous. So why don't you share with the audience a little bit about chat GPT? While he does that, I'm actually going to pull up my chat GPT link on my phone and I'm going to do a search for the audience and read it out, lo out loud live to share with the audience some of the power behind what chat GPT could do for you today. Yeah. Chat GPT, if you've been living under a rock, <laughs> uh, is generative AI generative language, uh, uh, models. And so, um, it is a pretty incredible technology that's really changing our world right now. It's one of a, a number of different platforms that um, Jasper.ai is another one that I'm, I'm friends with, uh, people that work there as well. But it's it's generative language. So if you've got a, a, a listing pre that you need to uh, talk about a uh, three bedroom, two bath with a large backyard, you can literally type that in and say, hey, I want it in 50 words and I want it to be semi-formal. And I want it to mention these four words because that's the keyword references I want to you know be associated with. And that might be for your MLS, it might be for uh, realtor.com or different things like that. But you can just punch in those parameters and get a description of that property generated for you without, you know, just by punching in that so data. So I'm going to do it real quick if that's yeah, okay. Yeah, do it, do it. So I think this is getting recorded. If you guys ever are big avid listeners and you ever want to check out a video recording, we host all of those on our website and on YouTube. But you can just go out to EliteRealEstateSystems.com, click on podcast and get a link and watch the video. So I'm going to search. Let's pretend like I'm an admin and I write my, my, my searches. Here we go. 
create a 500 character description of a three bed, two bath, two story home with a recently renovated kitchen, beautiful views of a forest for $550,000. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit search or send. And here's what it says. It's populating it right now. This stunning two-story home features three bedrooms, two baths, and breathtaking views of a lush forest. The recently renovated kitchen boasts modern amenities and ample counter space, perfect for home-cooked meals and entertaining guests. With $550,000, you can own this beautiful home, complete with cozy living spaces, elegant finishes, and plenty of natural light. Each bedroom is thoughtfully designed to provide comfort and privacy, while the bathrooms are stylish and practical. Whether you're relaxing in the living room, cooking in the kitchen, or enjoying the view from the second story, this offers this home offers everything you need for a comfortable and luxurious lifestyle. Don't miss out on this amazing opportunity to own a piece of paradise. Now, the crazy thing about that is that, you know, you can then add to your description, right? So you're like, you know what? I don't like the word lush. So don't use the word lush. That's just what you type in. You type in, don't use the word lush. Oh, I didn't and, know you do that. And now hit refresh again, and it'll populate the whole thing again, just what? not using the word lush. That's cool. And if, you don't, if, you, if you're like, man, this was the perfect description. I wrote it out right here. You can save that. And then you can just go down to the bottom and say regenerate, and it'll give you a brand new different one. So if you feel like you're in a market where you're trying to rewrite this creative description of this, prop, this exact same home, you know, for... 50 different times in a day, right? For a TC or somebody that's managing it at the office level, you know, it, it creates this opportunity to, you know, put that in there. Now, there's a lot of controversy around it because some people are, you know, talking about it's going to be, you know, take away jobs and different things like that. And, and, uh, which I was know, not and, a bad thing if this is a capitalistic society. Yeah. And so there's, there's a lot of, you know, there's some things that it does really well for. I think that's a great example of something that it does really well at. There's other things that I, I think that when you're talking really creative, you know, and content writers and things, you're not going to fully replace those people. Um, but Jasper AI, I know, j did just announce that I think Sports Illustrated is now using their technology for their content. Wow. And, uh, and so you have, you know, they're going to get 95% of the articles written by AI moving forward here. And this is only on the the 3.0 version, you know, and so they're working on four and five. I right hope now. we haven't lost anyone yet. It's crazy. I nerd out over this so, stuff all the time. Yeah, we People nerd. talk about like what can you do with it. I spent three hours the first day I heard about it, just sitting and doing different searches. One thing you could do is I could literally say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this live because this is like rubber meets the road. Yeah. So I want Kyle to go see what's a new movie out. I just watched one, The Plane. I think it's called The Plane. Um, I want him to come with me tonight. I don't know how to word a text message, so I want it to be a persuasive text. So create persuasive text to ask Kyle to come see the plane with me tonight at Marcus Theater at Village Point at 7 p.m. So how crazy that it could actually now populate that. So this is a text message. Hey, Kyle, hope you're doing well. Wanted to reach out to you today because I'm... I have a very exciting opportunity that I think you'll love. I just heard that Marcus Theater at Village Point is showing a fantastic new film about planes tonight at 7 p.m. So obviously it doesn't get it perfect. And I'd love it if you could join me. I know how much you love aviation, how interested you are in things related to flight. This is amazing. So, so I won't so want here's, to read all So of it. here's something that I think is really interesting because in this specifically, like in this example, right, the prompt matters so much, right? So what you give it, that's what Correct. they call that it the prompt, guessed. right? And so, so it had to fill in a lot of blanks that you weren't clear on, right? Right. The plane is a movie title. I would have needed to say right? the movie, the plane. Yeah, a movie that's entitled the plane, right? So you have to be very clear, and then you can, you know, you can be persuasive, right? You can, you got to fix the prompt, and when you fix that, then it, it gets better. And so, but uh, there's tools out there from a marketing side. So Jasper AI is actually more a fully marketing tool specifically for this. And so it's actually, you know, building tools for marketing and things mm -hmm. like that. So create a call to action. You know, this needs to be the call to action. Like they want to put that into the marketing script. Um, and, and you've seen all of this type of generative AI stuff in the photos that you've seen going around of like the almost caricature design illustration photos. That's all generative AI, uh, but it's for illustrations, right? And so, and that's going to change the industry a lot also because of, you know, being able to build an image, you know, that, uh, for your podcast, right. That you don't have to go pay somebody for copyright, you know, mm -hmm. proof, or you don't have to use Upsplash or something like that. You know, now you can go generate your own art that's original to you that nobody, you know, owns the rights to because they literally just created it. It's amazing. So Microsoft invested $10 billion into ChatGPT. That's all they ended up having to spend. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, they didn't buy it. 
They invested it, right? Which and, is and they're crazy actually, to think about that. I think we just read an article that Bing will become this new yep. chatbot. Yep. So they, they've they already teased rolling it into Bing, and uh -oh. they'll be rolling it into the Microsoft products. Google, where are you at? And Google just announced yeah. they're doing they're testing they're it all. To. No, no, they're testing it right now internally. So they just uh, released a memo, and every it kind of got leaked. And so their whole platform, Bard, I think is what it's called. Bart Simpson. Yeah, B A R D. <laughs> and uh, and so you know, so Bart Simpson Super is cool. rolling out here from Google. It's cool stuff, guys. Yep. Um, I wish I had this when I was in high school. It would have made all my cheating way easier. Because you can do essays, and it, it will change it every time it creates it. It'll actually create a new essay. Um, you can you can force it to stay within a certain amount of words. You can say that you want it to be written from a certain vantage point. Like I mentioned earlier, you could say be excited, be persuasive. You can have it limit characters, limit words. You could have it use specific words. Um, it's scrubbing all the data that's ever been on the internet up to the end of 2021. So another really cool use case that I've played with is if you want to cook something, instead of doing a Google search where you say like, how do you make chocolate chip brownies or chocolate chip, let's do pancakes. And then it populates 20 different articles about how to make chocolate chip pancakes. And now you're reading each specific article. It's going to grab every article ever written and it's going to guesstimate what's the best recipe to, to create this specific thing, taking a ton of different articles and then just putting it into one. Google doesn't do that. So crazy. I, I saw an article the other day that was talking about uh, recipes. So put into chat GPT, I've got this in my cabinet, this in my cabinet, this in no my cabinet. No way. Right? And and come up with a recipe for dinner for two. That's cool. Right? So what do you it'll what do food that? do you have? Yeah. It'll, right. it'll, it'll try. Yeah. We're testing this one. <laughs> right. Ready? I have two percent milk, rice krispies, marshmallows, chocolate chips, and cinnamon bears. What's the best dessert I could make? We'll see how it does. That was really random. Pretty weird. Of all those things. I don't know. I wanted to go to... I think we're going to make some Rice Krispie this? treats here. With those ingredients, you could make a delicious Rice Krispie treats with a twist. Here's how. Six cups Rice Krispies, four cups miniature marshmallows, three tablespoons unsalted butter, 2% milk, one cup semi-sweet chocolate chips, half cup cinnamon bears. It threw the cinnamon bears in, bro. Yes! Let's go! Oh, my gosh. And then all the instructions on how to do it. So I did it, dude. Isn't that amazing? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Now I really want cinnamon bear rice krispie treats. <laughs> We're gonna make them later tonight. Um, it'll do stories. So it was really cute the other day. Uh, my my son Levi had two friends over, and they're both female friends of his. And I said, "Tell me a story about Levi and his friend Isabella and his friend Sarah." And they end up taking a spaceship to the moon. And I just said all these silly little things, and it then populated this whole story. And I read it, and they were like laughing their heads off about this little, little yeah. story. Yep. It'll do poems. So we got Valentine's Day. I guess this is probably past by the time this comes out, but um, it'll do a poem. It'll turn to any song into a rap. I mean, it, it can do anything. It'll, oh, the other really cool thing, we always talk about the difference between me and you are the books you read, the podcasts you listen to, and the people you mastermind with. It will cliff note any book that's ever been written and probably any movie that's ever been written. So I could say, what are the top five takeaways from save, uh, Saving Private Ryan? And it would then give me five bullets based on all the information on the internet up till the end of 2021 and tell me the top five takeaways from that movie. Pretty amazing. Like how quickly amazing. now we can learn using this yeah. technology. Yeah. That's pretty incredible. So there's, uh, there's APIs for a number of this technology that's coming out that people are working on into the different platforms. And so one of the things I'm excited about doing is bringing that into the marketing platform that we're working on together. And that'll make it so that it's native in that tool, even for those listing presentations and things like that. So you can actually mm. put in the information about a home, kick it out and have that come directly into the platform. And so to keep you all in one spot, right? If you're wanting to put that description on a postcard or you're wanting to put it into a social post or if you're wanting yeah. to do anything like that to have well, it in one place. You already it's have exciting. IDX syndication, right? So yep. the information's out there. Why not create that in our platform? And we are revamping our ERS platform to create anything and everything we offer in our shared services store, it will use artificial intelligence essentially to write the copy, to create some of the imagery, to make everyone else's lives easier. And I think to be able to provide samples to your client. So you go on a list present and say, this is the postcard I'm going to have for your house. And you hit a button on our website and it populates literally the pictures of their home, a description of their home. Yeah. All of that information is at the, the hands of anyone that's in our world. It's pretty incredible. We're going to see a lot of crazy stuff the next five years. And we are, both of us, Kyle, are early adopters. 
pioneers. We like to play with the tech and see how we can make a difference in people's lives. A lot of times you'll have something, you know, it's special. You just don't know how to use it yet. Yeah. So for those that haven't played with chat GPT, GPT, go get your feet wet. You just go to their website. It's not an app. I just put a link to the website on my phone so it feels like an app. And then you just sign up because, of course, they want to capture your information, which I have no problem with. They also can see all the searches you've done. They query all those searches yeah. so that it can populate better answers for you in the future. But uh, we do need to pay attention to that. Switching gears for a second, um, as we all, uh, if you've made it this far and you are as big of a geek as we are, we all have databases. And when you think about what do you have that's your greatest value, I don't think it's your investments if you have any. I don't think it's gold. I think it's data and I think it's data that you have a relationship with. And I think you think about like all of the people that are on Amazon or all of the data points that Facebook has for people or all of the different social media platforms. We are better than all of them. Those are all just platforms. Those don't, no one has a relationship to Facebook or a Google ad or um, a Facebook ad. They do have a relationship to the people that are listening to this, this episode. So what could you be a part of? What could you sell what value could you offer your database outside of just buying or selling a home? And so many people are so ryth rhythmic on, stuck, just stuck on, do you want to buy a house? Do you want to sell a house? Do you know anyone thinking about buying or selling a house? There's more than that, you guys. And so the focus yeah. we have at Elite Real Estate Systems is to figure out a process where we don't have to any longer be reliant on point of sale. We want to partner with you and not own any of your business, but we want to partner in the data that you have. And then we want to go upsell mortgage services, title services, insurance services, property management services. And the list goes way further than that. When you start looking at concierge companies that can go in after point of sale and sell cable, security, lawn care, fertilizer, home products. I mean, it's infinite. And there's no ecosystem today. There's nowhere I know where as an agent, I can go partner with someone and they're going to take my database and do a rev share with me. This is what we're looking at creating. And once that's been created for all of our listeners, we then can go into these business ventures together and you, listener, will communicate to your database with your face on it, with a video you've created, talking about all of the additional services that you can offer through your Powered by ERS platform. And there's nothing more exciting than this topic. If I could choose what I wanted to do, this is what I want to do. This is what I love. It's freaking amazing. It's been a long time coming. It it's has. Exciting. And technology had to get here. Yeah. I mean, we couldn't have done this 20 years ago. Couldn't even talk about this 20 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. But the fact that we're betaing it right now is exciting. It's very cool. So in 10 years from now, it'll be fun looking back at this episode and be like, oh my gosh, look at these guys. That's right. Talking AI and chatbots. That's right. This is, like, this is the future. You know, I had uh, <laughs> a hologram of us by that point, right? <laughs> Hopefully. That's right. <laughs> um, Robert Herjvik, um, I might miss some facts here, but he's from Canada. He helped to develop, I believe, the first ever password protected ThinkPad through McAfee. And it was the one where you use the fingerprint scanner. And it was the first ever, and he patented that, and that, I think, is what kind of got him to where he is today. He came and spoke to, to us at an event a few years ago, and he was talking about IP addresses. And IP address, in my understanding, is anything that's on, it's on, it's online. It's, it's connected to, to the wire. And you think about all of the things now that talk to the internet that didn't. All of our devices on our phones, all of our smart devices, our TVs, our video game systems, they're all linked up. Well, eventually, everything that's powered will be linked. So like in my house, I have a smart house. Yeah. All of my fixtures are tied in. All my blinds are tied in. I can voice command anything. But imagine the power of w the things you can do. Like, for example, right now on Amazon Pantry, if it sees that I don't have an egg in my egg tray, it will send me eggs. And so I think about from a marketing standpoint with products that we send our clients, if they closed on their house X date, of course, that's an easy one. But what if they just made their final mortgage payment? How cool would it be to have an automatic message that goes out, congrats, we saw you just paid off your mortgage? Or yeah. what if Airbnb rates are at an all-time high and you send them something saying, hey, heads up, Airbnb is doing the best it's ever done. Maybe you should consider converting your house to an Airbnb and purchasing a new home. And there's going to be all of these predictable analytics oh, yeah. that we can run and run messaging and marketing ads behind based on certain predictable, yeah. predictable, predict, predict, uh, predictability. Predictabilities. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So. It's an exciting time. I mean, if if you really nerd out on all of this technology and how people are, how people in companies like that are thinking, Amazon uh, has a, a kitchen division. I was listening to a podcast that was talking about how they are building their own microwaves, and they were testing the idea of owning the microwave, and they were testing the idea of building custom countertops that could integrate and understand like the the food that you're taking out of the cat the cupboard, so that you could 
you know, they would know if you popped micro, uh, popcorn three times, right? And you bought a package of popcorn on their website, you know, that had 10 packs in it. So it knows you have seven left, right? And so it's like paying attention to those things because it has the technology kind of tied in and things like that. But they're just constantly thinking, how do they predict, right? You're, you're buying and, and purchasing habits and, uh, and they're watching everything from what you're searching, you know, from and using that as data points and things like that. And, and it is, it's really interesting to kind of pay attention to the, the data and tech side behind it. And the, the I, utilizing the IP address and, you know, there's a, there's a whole technology component of, of following you around the internet, right? I call it magic marketing, but the digital retargeting that happens, you know, across the, the internet with the pixels when you land on the website, but then also um, utilizing your IP address that's tied to your cell phone number, that's tied to your email address, because Google, when you log in, you're logging in from your IP address. So it's now tied to your IP address, your phone, you have your internet pulled up on your Google, that's all tied to your IP address. And so all of that's tied together and it can follow you all around. And, and it's actually fairly easy and affordable to pay for those things on a marketing side. And you can choose a budget a day that you're spending on that. So really, really fascinating to see how that's all become accessible um, and how you can utilize that to, you know, to constantly stay in front of your database. And to your point, not only for the point of sale that happens once every handful of years, yeah, right? 11. You know, right. And so, but, you know, to really utilize that for other services and other opportunities, truly becoming that, you know, partner or that vendor, or that uh, resource for that home buyer and everyone else in that list. It's exciting, man. I love it. And so we are working arduously, you guys, for you so that you have something you could plug into. Um, I don't know that Google's going to go 50-50 with you on helping market to your database. Probably not. I think their goal is just to take the data or maybe they already have it. So we're looking for ways to help you plug into your database. Obviously, the, the lowest lying fruit is helping people buy and sell real estate. Second would be getting referrals from people buying or selling real estate. But other really pretty simple ones is a strategic partnership or joint venture in mortgage, title, insurance, property management, investment services, whole life, term life, disability, health, financial services. And those are all, we are executing on everything I just said right now. So none of this is like conceptual. This is what we're doing. We've done it. We're already in seven or eight, seven or eight different states across all of these different platforms with the intention to be in 48 of the 50 states um, in mortgage and 30 states in title and 45 states in insurance, all 50 states in property management. And then of course the concierge services will be all 50 states as well. Shared services, we're gonna announce some of those shared services will be available without being powered by ERS, like our marketing store. So yep. once that does come online here in the next few months, we'll definitely bring Kyle back on and talk a little bit about what we can offer to you guys from a value standpoint when it comes to your marketing materials. I guarantee we're gonna get them at a lesser cost. We also are gonna be printing from the caves of Kansas City. Something I didn't know about. Kyle, why don't you share with our listeners about these caves? This is actually a really cool little fun fact. There's a history of a lot of printing in Kansas City. Hallmark is based there. Springbok puzzles, if you're a, a puzzler, which I know you are. That's a random fact. But the, uh, the caves in Kansas City control humidity uh, so that the paper doesn't get stuck together. And the caves in Kansas City keep those printers nice and cool because, and you don't have to pay for air conditioning for that. And so the caves have been a historical thing in Kansas City that uh, companies own caves in Kansas City and have their businesses set up down there. Uh, That's and, awesome. And so the people that work there don't see the the light of the sun, uh, and so they have vitamin D lights for that. I was going to say and, fake uh, lights. Yeah, you got fake lights for like that. Like in the and show the, Lost, if anyone yeah. ever saw that oh, when they lived in the ground. That's right. That's fun right. fun yeah. old reference. Yeah, that was an old First reference. binge TV series. Man. Hey, real Throwback. quick, while I've got you guys, uh, don't miss out on our first workshop of 2023 in person in March. It's the last second to last week in March. I believe it's March 20th and 21st, flying in on the 19th. On March 20th, it's a Monday. We're going to be diving deep into investing in real estate. We've built a $25 million portfolio in around six years with acquiring single family and multifamily doors and using the Burr strategy. So we'll spend a day on that. And then Tuesday, we'll be all team building. We're going to be going through the 52 weeks of content in eight hours, which is big picture, lead gen, lead conversion, system strategies, culture, and all of the things surrounding building and scaling a dominant real estate business. We're going to talk about everything we talked on this podcast about. We're going to talk about technology. Uh, we'll be getting into 
some advanced lead generation techniques that we're seeing, systems and processes that are going to work in your business in 2023. So you don't want to miss out. It's super affordable. We break even on our events, you guys. So we're not trying to gouge anybody or create huge margin. Uh, we have a negotiated rate at a hotel right next door to my office uh, at Aloft, uh, ran by Marriott. So for more information about that event, to sign up for that and or all future events or to jump on our podcast email so you can actually get an email of the video, go out to grow with ers.com. Kyle, if anyone wants to give a shout out to you and or reach out to you direct, what would be the best way for them to get in contact with you? Uh, can we put my email address in there? If you want, sure. Perfect. What is that? Kbach at gmail.com. And that's two A's? Yep. K-B-A-A-C-K at gmail.com. Awesome. Shoot him an email. If you thought he did a good job, if you think he's full of S-H-I, feel free to send him an email as send well and call email. him out. I love Kyle getting called out. There's nothing that makes me happier. It doesn't right. happen often enough. That's right. Love it. Kyle, thank you for coming on today. Really appreciate it. Really excited to bring you back on once we can announce the yep. updated marketplace. Um, very excited about our Powered by ERS platform. You'll be hearing a lot more about that. And if anyone has any questions for us, feel free to go out to our um, Instagram page and make a comment elite real, at Elite Real Estate Systems. If anyone ever wants to reach out to me directly, be sure to follow me on Instagram and or direct message me on Instagram. It's just at Jeff M-C-O-H-N. And then until next time, thank you, Kyle, for coming on today. I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it.